So we're going to actually have a little bit of fun today, if that's all right with you. Most of my videos are analytical, they're guides, they're driven by science. I'm usually not looking for a debate or a conversation because I tend to come correct with some sort of focused idea that I want to share with. And this is kind of an inspiration from that because I did do a video on how to spend your core reperk. I'm going to be talking about a lot of very fun six perks today. And if you're actually looking to do anything with that information, the core reperk video up there is probably what this video essentially should be and I'm honestly only recording this because I think it's fun and I got a comment saying that I should rank the top five best six perks and it gave me this idea like if six perks were interchangeable for any weapon in the game what would happen now an obvious example that many might think of right away is bullet chaining on the founders revolt we already saw this with a modded uh, hydra i have some old gameplay of ben's actually using that for an old video of mine where the hydra got modded by somebody support i don't know it's how modded weapons happen but it got into the hands of players and it uh chains to different targets and that kind of breaks for a weapon like the hydra now the hydra is not overpowered but can you imagine if we put that on an smg that could shoot really fast that would like completely break the game and then of course there's some super fun six perks like all the founders weapons have special six perks i'm covering it so i'm gonna probably have to go over here for today's video but yeah all of the founders weapons have special six perks right here um the <clears throat> the, the nocturno as well and then all of the mythic weapons all have their own special six perks and i kind of want to talk about them just for fun because there are weapons like the nocturno here where if you could hit an enemy and stack damage and then it's a very complicated six perk but it adds a lot of damage and area of effect that is a very powerful six perk that of course is only locked to one weapon for a reason now I know that this might sting for some people who weren't founders and don't have these weapons. I'm sorry. I hope they re-release these weapons. It's not my fault, but it exists in the game, and you can ask anybody to drop you these weapons if you're kind, uh, and if that person is feeling generous, they might give you a copy and let you play with one for a while. And these weapons, they last a while, so you might have some, uh, some good fun with that. And uh, without spoiling more of the video, uh, I think we should get into it. So I don't know if this is going to be ordered. I don't even know if I'm going to timestamp this. I'm going to try to show a ton of gameplay because we're going to be talking about some unique stuff. Uh, let's uh, let's kind of talk about it because I don't really want to rank these because I don't really think that matters. We can't interchange perks right now. We can't put whatever perk we want on any random weapon. Every weapon, let me just show uh, like the Silent Spectre here. Every weapon has a set amount of six perks it can have. And that's again why the core reperk video exists because that'll focus more on what you should use per weapon. However, I do want to discuss what sort of inspired this in me, and that Slowed and Snared and Affliction have essentially been our two options for a long time, and they kind of still are. And I'll actually just talk about the stacking crit rating right away, because that is mathematically once it gets wound up once you're 15 shots in it is w well not way stronger but it is definitely doing more damage than that extra 45 percent that you get but again you have to build up to that and then I, I explained in the sound specter video and the quick shot slash new perks for the thrasher video um that that is in my opinion not super necessary for regular games i've been uh continuing on not actually using my stacking crit rating schematic in fact <clears throat> i favored all these weapons so i could show them uh my thrasher i use the affliction ones more than anything and that's for uh, a couple of reasons one my effect is essentially instant after that first bullet every every shot afterwards is doing 45 percent more that's not technically specific i'm not going to get into it I'm not going to get into it for the sake of per for the sake of conversation it's 45 percent but the way the bonuses stack in this game doesn't matter in the scope of this video you get that bonus after that second shot and the second reason is Affliction got kind of buffed to where it, ha it holds a higher place in my heart now than uh, Slowed and Snared because Affliction ticking away every second does uh, quite a bit more damage than it used to and it can crit, which is really nice. And it has been several updates since that has been re-added into the game. And so I'm pretty sure this one's going to stick. If in the future Affliction is no longer critting or doing any amounts of useful damage, then I still think it's on par with Slowed and Snared. But since those are essentially our three options, for most SMGs, and that's almost anybody, uh, almost all anybody talks about, I figured let's talk about some more super fun six perks. I guess we can just start with the Founders ones up here. Obviously the Nocturno, I talked about it already, but stacking that damage and then reloading or eliminating the enemy to get that crowd clearing is super powerful. If that was available on every high fire rate weapon in the game, I'm not really sure there would be any other choices for uh, six perks. That and Bullet Chain. Bullet Chain might be my personal preferred, but both are very strong six perks. Um, the Storm King's Fury, again, uh, just hitting 
finding an enemy and charging up meteors is really, really cool. I wish it wasn't just locked to the Fury, because I don't actually run the Fury that much, and that's kind of my fault. I might bust out this weapon for a couple of missions, because it's very, very fun. Now, the Storm King's Onslaught, I actually frequently forget that it's a six perk that fires the homing projectiles to seek the head. Uh, that's interesting, because this is just how this weapon performs. We just sort of get used to the idea that the Storm King's Onslaught is uh, it's an aimbot weapon, but uh, that's actually the six perk triggering that, and I wonder if that would even work on uh on normal weapons and i have no idea but obviously we will probably never find out because it's only locked to the onslaught the ravager is probably my favorite six perk for melees i definitely think it's the strongest because uh speaking of melee perks we'll get to it in a second i guess with this with the with the spectral blade but hitting an enemy to charge up that attack does so much damage it is so worth it to back off of a mini boss and then send that charge attack that will eliminate a smokescreen mini boss so fast if they're a, a ricochet mini boss and you need to use a melee this is very very powerful and it makes the ravager hands down the best mini boss slayer in the entire game a close second is the spectral blade now you might have heard from me in the past that uh, with this stacking damage perk it is the new best six perk for the spectral blade which is true and it can out damage the ravager which is technically true if you are not using the ravager six perk at all and you're not sending that extra wave that does 245 percent weapon damage yes the spectral blade out damages the ravager but if you're utilizing the ravager six perk it's way stronger but the spectral blade i wanted to talk about that because that stacking damage is the best on the spectral blade with this triple attack speed crit damage build uh crit rating did fall short but it's also good and the slowed and snared is kind of pointless uh because if you're not running that damage to slow and snared which you shouldn't because triple attack speed is best with paleo luna it's a complicated subject i should redo my spectral blade video i think um if i no i don't think i did that yeah so i should probably redo this video because we've we've uncovered some math and that's why i'm running triple attack speed and not with a crit build because it's better with luna and uh that stacking damage does make this a very very strong weapon and then i of course have the other slow and snared copy just to, to demonstrate i literally leveled up my second spectral blade just for the heavy attack because somebody redeemed it on my twitch stream and i figured screw it i've got another copy just sitting here so why not also many people are seeing a surplus in reperk i am one of those people i'm up to nine and i have another one soon to be unlocked in venture soon now this will be outdated information after a few days once i get this core reperk but it seems as though lots of people who have been keeping up with ventures have uh quite a few core reperk to spend so another plug to my video you might want to consider using some today now the storm king scourge has another annoying six perk i hate this because it's very confusing to use because you build up to five charges per hit on an enemy and then when you detonate it after that fifth hit uh or if you switch targets it deals 100 percent of the damage so it essentially doubles your damage if you switch between targets but it's like kind of confusing and each charge increases the radius i did not actually know that up to a max of 0.75 tiles so it's just a lot going on i've never fully comprehended this six perk i always try to wave it through a crowd trying to hit as many different targets as i can try to double my damage but it's tricky but i feel like if that was again available on every uh ranged weapon that could be a little broken now the storm king's wrath is uh super easy to demonstrate so i'll do that once before you get on camera here i don't know if i'm gonna i don't know what kind of gameplay i'll record but when you charge this thing to max it'll hit multiple targets making the wrath not only the hardest hitting single target weapon in the game but now we've given it area of effect damage because you know it wasn't strong enough already and that does consume more ammo so i guess it's balanced but it's a very very strong ability and if you could charge up every rocket launcher in the game whoo <laughs> imagine a deatomizer branching out to hit multiple targets goodness gracious while we're talking about rocket launchers let's move on to that so this is going to bring us back down to back home a little bit to a, a more available six perk and that is the stunning or knocking back deals 12 base damage this is a high potential six perk so currently 12 base damage is like in the highest zones with my team and my basic testing, which is not very scientific, again, we're just having fun today, it's like 12 to 14,000 damage. It's not a lot. It just does more damage when you knock back. On the Dam Buster, that is a match made in heaven, because this weapon has, I think, some of the highest knockback in the entire game, and an impact of 45,000 is redonkulous. Like, even the Storm King's Wrath only has 33,000. So it has a huge not a huge impact and knockback, which is a hidden value, but it, it does send enemies flying. So what I'm saying here is with 12 base damage if that number was higher 
maybe it was like a percent of damage dealt. Like literally if it was 12% of the damage dealt, it'd do like tens of thousands of damage more. And that could be really, really powerful because it affects essentially every hit in the game. Now, this isn't directly like a, a suggestion to Epic, but hey, if anybody's listening, just know that that six perk has great potential. And I was very excited about it until we found out how much 12 base damage was. Not a lot. So if that was available on shotguns or, you know, uh, rocket launchers, which is, it is available on shotguns and rocket launchers, if it did more damage, that would actually be like a really fun six perk. But for now, it's more of just a, a theory craft. Now, I'm going to bring up the, uh, well, actually, we're going to take a break from the founders just so I can keep going down, you know, top down. Bald Eagle, headshot eliminations cause an explosion. That is, generally speaking, a terrible six perk. I very rarely, I don't think I've ever seriously recommended it on a fully auto weapon, which is kind of ironic because one of my supercharged weapons actually has that, which is the Electroshock Rifle. And the Electroshock Rifle, I really enjoy using. That's why I supercharged it. But that Headshot Eliminations Cause an Explosion is a kind of underrated. I will I will say, I'll be the first to say, hands down, that 45% damage to Afflicted or Slowed and Snared is more damage. That is definitely the way you want to go. But I didn't want to spend a Cory perk on this. And being able to get some group damage with my AR just by aiming for the head, which I tend to like to do, it was kind of a good bang for my buck, and I, I really enjoyed it. And by my buck, I mean spending zero on that thing. I mean, I did supercharge it, but, you know, I, I stopped at the reperk because, you know, that was too expensive, right? But Headshot Elimination Cause an Explosion has a place in the game, um, and it only does 30% of damage from your weapon. That's an interesting number. I didn't actually know that it was 30% um, of the damage. I feel like it could be more and be, like, super viable, but it's still a nice thing to have. Now, a more tricky topic uh, is uh, the freezing enemies. Now, this is one that I don't highly value. I've never found this to be super useful, but hitting an enemy seven times to freeze them or stunning and knocking back to freeze them uh, is a fun perk in the sense that on the weapons that it's available on, like the Blizzard Blitzer, the Snowball Launcher, and more, I'm sure, I can't think of them all off the top of my head, if that was available on every single weapon. Like, imagine something that shoots fast, you know, any SMG in the game. Just pick your favorite, you know? Like the Sound Spectre or the Viper actually shoots very fast, the Monsoon. If hitting seven times froze an enemy, that would be awesome. That'd be really cool. That'd be really, really cool. Maybe they could tweak it so it only works with water elemental enemy or water elemental weapons. I don't know, but that would be very cool. And, uh, you know, literally speaking, but I, it's only available on a few weapons. So it's one of those niche perks. That's actually like really, really cool. And, uh, I don't know, just wanted to bring it up because it's fun. Now, for the rest of the Founder's weapons, I'm going to go through them quickly, but after five hits, uh, triggers an explosion. Some melees actually kind of already have that with a crit explosion. We'll talk about that later. Uh, Founder's Deconstructor has a very interesting bonus, and I feel like if every shotgun had this, I don't know how it would work, because basically what happens is uh, whenever you reload, it adds 16% damage, stacking up to five times, meaning when you have reloaded five shells into your shotgun, that next shot is going to pack a punch. And the Deconstructor is a ter terrible weapon, trash weapon. I talked about that in my best shotguns video. It's not very good. But if that was available on every shotgun, like just reloading straight up gave you a 16% damage bonus per shell, that'd be really, really, really nice. And that already kind of exists actually if you guys want to apply that to every single shotgun just go ahead and throw on the thick skeleton lady that 15 percent after reloading is quite a nice thing to have and in my opinion makes a lot of sense if you're running shotguns because i mean you're always reloading with a shotgun so either way founder's drum roll again if this six perk was available on every smg just imagine every 10th round fired ups your damage by 15 percent uh stacking up to four times that's a 60 percent damage buff just so long as you don't reload or switch weapons. That is a great bonus. Like, that's really, really good. That makes the Founder's Drum Roll quite viable. Um, I don't use it enough. I always forget this weapon exists, but it's uh, definitely got a six perk that uh, moves it up a couple of tiers. And then lastly, for the Founder's Weapons, because uh, we already sort of talked about Bullet Chain enough, uh, the Founder's Quick Shot. Hitting, hitting an enemy grants weapon damage and reload speed for two seconds, and then it stacks up to 25 times. And if this works in any way that I've experienced before, whenever you stack for like two seconds, the more you stack, the more it'll keep going. But if you stop shooting for two seconds, then it goes away. So you will get the full 25 stacks, but if you stop shooting, then it'll go away after two seconds. And that is huge because 25 times 1.7 is not a number I prepared, but let me just do that for you real quick, times 1.7. That is a 42.5% damage increase, and that is huge. For the Founder's Quick Shot, which is already tied with the Thrasher as the best SMG in the game at 
144,000 DPS. If you just go ahead and add, let me just do it here. Just uh, uh, let me do 1.4425 uh, times the uh, 244,000 figure we're working with brings us up to just under 350,000 DPS, which is very high. The Silent Spectre averages about 230,000 DPS. So to be like essentially 50% better than all of the other SMGs in the game, that makes this six perk insanely strong. So I don't know if you guys have just not known about the Founder's Quick Shot, but if you have it in your inventory, you might want to level it up. It's It's got an insane six perk, not to mention the reload speed. So if that was put on every SMG in the game, it would probably break the game. Now, all right, back to some regular perks, which is funny because the Heartbreaker, I think, is the only weapon in the game that has this. The Heartbreaker and the Military Crossbow, they're the same thing. Uh, 30 plus uh, 30 plus 30 percent weapon damage when aiming down the sights imagine if every weapon in the game just got a flat 30 percent damage bonus every time you ads like aim down sights that's <laughs> that would be very very cool um and would of course be a little overpowered but i think it'd be very fun and i have nothing more to add to this i just think it's a cool six perk that exists even if it's only locked to a couple of crossbows um i'm gonna skip the hemlock and mercury lmg real quick and i want to talk about the uh, storm blade because uh give some melee love here crit hit cause an explosion uh we have seen a trend with many of the uh weapons that have gotten this every single melee that has gotten this crit hits cause an explosion has instantly become viable i have been getting so many comments about all the crit hits weapons and i'm sorry for not covering them faster i just haven't been super motivated about it but i do get the odd comment every few days and the Stormblade is essentially a perfect example of this it is a painfully mediocre sword it is not an impressive damage it is good it works it's just like i said it's very average it'll be fine even in the 160s but without the crit hits it doesn't really do too much special but when you are critting 43 percent of the time and i don't even have my melee loadout on in fact let me just go put it on while we're having some fun today let me just uh hopefully i have it built like normal yes i do I have anatomy lessons perfect all right because anatomy lessons bumps us up to a 50 percent chance to crit 50.5 which means more than half the time we are causing an explosion that's dealing 43 base damage to the enemies around us you already heard what i said about 12 base damage which was fairly low but 43 base damage is about three and a half times better and that's pretty good 3.75 times better but that's pretty good like that's a nice bonus to have and uh it's nope nope that's 3.625 percent it does not matter the point is it does a lot of extra damage around you uh and it affects a lot of enemies at once which is great for a melee because when you are not you, when you're not able to do any range damage doing the most damage to as many enemies as possible is great so every every um Every melee in the game that got that crit hits has instantly become very, very useful, and it's kind of exciting whenever I find a new melee that has that. Even though the list is kind of finalized, like I said, I don't think about it enough, so I just sort of, uh, uh, I just sort of forget about those weapons. But yes. So speaking of explosions happening when you shoot something, the hemlock I think is the most egregious example of this perk being awesome. But we're gonna kick it back old school with the with the mercury LMG. Landing five hits in a row on one single target causes a small explosion around it for 70% weapon damage. Mercury LMG was infamous for this, uh, it and the bundle bus actually, because uh, it used to not do 70%, I'll say that much, no. It it did more than 100% damage, you were literally doubling your damage if you were laying into a mini boss or a smasher or something, and that six perk was very powerful. But they fixed it. I call it nerfed it, but they fixed it, making it only 70% damage. So now it's like super balanced. Um, obviously, I wouldn't recommend quadruple mag size on this, but the Mercury LMG holds my, my, my heart, you know, with that six perk. But the Hemlock is a weapon that's already a top tier SMG. Very, very strong weapon. Highly recommend it. Seriously, it is a switchblade weapon if there ever was. Because if you look at the six perks on this thing, you've got shield six perks. You got slowed and snared on this. You've got splinter landing five hits in a row. You can perk it every which way you can put double crit damage on this you can put um uh, a full crit build and a mag size it's a very versatile weapon uh it has great range and everything and if you can lay into a single target hitting five shots in a row on it you're essentially buffing your damage by like 14 percent which is not a number that sounds very impressive, but it is, I promise. 70% uh, divided by 5, I think it's 14. So it's a really good, uh, really, really good bonus. And it's uh, it makes any SMG with that 5 hits in a row better. 
Unfortunately, the only SMG that got it was the Hemlock that I'm aware of. So that is uh, unfortunately a six perk that is limited to the Bundle Bus, Hemlock, Mercury LMG, and I think that might be it. If there are any corrections to this video, I'll pin it if it's serious enough. But yeah, very good six perk that I wish was available on more weapons. But believe it or not, that has almost brought us to the end. Let's just scroll down here to the last few remaining weapons. The Floor Flusher uh, is something I have here because I have one for every element. Uh, the Art Deco weapons introduced the weapon deal. 44% damage to elemental enemies. Unlike the five hits in a row, this was spread out to a lot of different elemental weapons, such as the Blizzard Blitzer, for example, has a 44% damage to nature and or to fire enemies, I should say, because it's a water enemy uh, weapon. I think so to the Snowball Launcher, for that matter. If I can just double check live on camera, yeah, 44% damage to fire enemies. Also, the Black Metal weapons, which I'm not going to scroll down to, uh, they can have the fire element, so they have the 44% damage to nature enemies. Uh, the Art Deco weapons have the 44% damage to all and the reason I keep saying this is because the floor flusher I said some numbers earlier it does about like 215,000 DPS normally it's like right under the the silent specter it performs very well but if you can stack that bonus uh, elemental damage I think it goes up to over 300,000 DPS which is very very strong so if you can sync up the correct element this six perk makes any weapon with a correct element very, very strong. It's a definite damage boost, and it is really nice to have. And I'm happy to report that it has been uh, evenly distributed to quite a few different uh, elemental weapons in the game, and I'm, I'm glad that they did it. Now, I'm not going to I'm not gonna get too far into it, but the spy weapons have this standing in place grants weapon damage, uh, miss monster, and boss damage. I think uh, it's just miss monsters. And then it generates your shield. I've never found this to be super useful. I hate standing still. It makes the game very boring. <laughs> and damage drop off will hurt you so it's kind of ironic because to stand still to even get this bonus means that enemies are unavoidably going to be further away from you because you're going to kill the things that are close very quickly so you're getting a 55 percent damage bonus but you're losing that damage bonus by shooting down range and so it's just kind of unfortunate i wish it stacked in a different way than having to stand still but it's a very powerful six perk potentially you know if you get that 55 percent damage and you're shooting point blank against like a mini boss that's not going to move around too much that is a really nice perk to have and i think it's an interesting enough one to end on so yeah very different kind of video today uh, a little bit less structured but just worth talking about obviously if i missed any perks like i did right here that's a fake outro oh my god i how did i forget i even have it on my list i totally didn't even favorite one of these okay Vacuum tube weapons, what are we on about? Chain lightning, ah, oh, I can imagine you guys were just screaming it in the comments down below. Chain lightning alone has made the vacuum tube weapons some of the coolest weapons in the entire game. Vacuum tube bow is currently clear while I'm recording this. This is a bug in the latest update, so enjoy this for eternity, even after they fix it. That's a thing that'll be in this video. Um, chain lightning on the vacuum tube bow makes it one of the strongest bows in the game. Without it, it would be a very unexceptional bow. It does have the highest base damage of most bows, but I think the Vindertech seeker has the highest base damage but it's still what i'm saying is the chain lightning comes into play on the ar the shotgun the sniper the sword i think i've all of them, oh my god so the sword is another one where like i said about melees and not having range weapon damage you can just chain to multiple targets and it makes eliminating a crowd very easy and that's true for all of the vacuum tube weapons and if chain lightning like i keep saying much like bullet chain was available on every weapon in the game it would be utterly broken all right real outro now i think that just about wraps up everyone that i wanted to talk about that is far from all of the six perks i doubt that i'll do any kind of follow-up to this video i don't know if i want to talk about perks again but if you guys have any suggestions leave them in the comments below but i hope you guys enjoyed subscribe if you're new uh, twitch link down below uh, it's creator code it helps support me so i can keep making these i really appreciate it thank you guys so much for watching and uh, i'll see you next time <laughs> And then...